Today's gonna be a fun comparison. We're gonna hit two different driver shaft lengths, a 45 and three quarters and a 43 inch. We're gonna see how they compare on track, man. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, a master fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we've got a fun, kind of unique test. Um, Jackie's got a tailor-made Sim Max driver, and she's got a standard 45 and three quarter inch golf shaft in there. And I've got a fairy wood shaft at 43 inches. We're gonna compare the two different shafts. Um, it's kind of gonna be that distance versus accuracy debate, right? Um, because of course, longer golf shaft is gonna generate more distance. However, could go more offline. And so that's why we're gonna see how this fairy wood shaft compares. It's not gonna be a perfect test, right? Fairy wood shafts, different swing weight, things like that, but we're just gonna see how that works out. So Jackie, Sim Max is your driver. Yep. Um, when you're with a golfer and they're trying to figure out what shaft length they should play, you know, what are the things that you're talking about with them? Um, and I'm sure a lot of it has to do with, do you want distance or do you want accuracy? Yeah, if they're struggling with accuracy, obviously there's a conversation about maybe shortening the club mm -hmm. up a little bit, um, you know, Obviously, you're also going to talk about different weights and stuff that you can put in there to kind of help with that yeah. and, and keep it more stable. Uh, but, you know, when it comes to shorter shafts, uh, it doesn't happen very often uh, that we would cut it significantly shorter. Yeah. Um, but it'll be interesting to kind of see what that looks like and the dispersion that it creates for us. Uh, if it is so something that someone could think about doing or, mm -hmm. you know, how much shorter it really is in distance. Right, I'm curious because this is almost a three inch difference, right? And this is, so this is a 65 gram fairy wood shaft. That's gonna be a 60 gram driver shaft. And so I'm curious to see what two and three quarters inches really does um, in terms of the shaft length. Uh, so I know, I mean, you strike the ball well, good player and your swing speed, your, what, we, what should we expect you think for your standard length? And then if you have a quick hypothesis maybe on how that changes with a shorter shaft. Yeah, uh, standard length, typically I hit my driver 235, 240, okay. somewhere in there. So I would expect me to probably uh, hit that like 215, 220, okay. somewhere in there. All right, all right, we're seeing, that's a pretty stark difference that you're expecting yeah. here. So we'll see if Jackie's hypothesis is right. Uh, get warmed up and you're ready to hit some shots? Yeah, let's go. That was good too. Uh, just, yeah, it's just going high. How's that one? Short, high. Hmm. Look at that spin. Yep. All right. Lots of spin. What should happen to spin here? Should it be more or less? Spin should go up. It yeah. should? Okay. Yeah. That was not. Okay. Okay. So the idea here is going to be we have 10 with each and then we can take one or two out. Okay. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm. That was good too. It seemed like nice. All right, so Jackie, I did, I mean, I know you made some comments right away about how different it felt with yeah. a 43 inch fairy wood shaft in uh, the driver. So. I know this isn't natural by any means to, to feel that, but um, you know, can you put into words just kind of what it was your thought process and how things felt? And it was if it was it you know was it awkward or I mean what's it like? Yeah, it's definitely weird having this short of a shaft and then the big head is like it is awkward okay. just because I'm not used to that. Um, I mean, swinging it it wasn't like weird at all to swing okay. I guess. Uh, 
I actually hit it a little bit better than I thought I would. Okay. Like in terms of in terms of distance. Distance, yeah. Didn't so, really didn't really hit the uh, standard shaft great. Um, yeah. I, I think you were I think bit, you were realizing kind of as you're hitting that it's probably this shaft probably doesn't fit what I'm trying to yeah. do. So you got some extra spin than you're used to, but yeah. Um, quick look here after five shots each, we're gonna hit actually ten with each, um, and maybe you know if there's outliers, we'll take those out at the end, but. Um, we were, you know, you got 15 yards, you know, just by the shafts being an extra two and three quarters. And then what is it? A little bit of weighting differences as well. Mm -hmm. in there, but um, 15 yards in distance. And then actually we're seeing here, now this is the small sample size yet. We're going to solidify the data, but the dispersion is actually better for the 45 and three quarter yep. inch shaft, the standard length. So interesting there. Um, I know we have some more data to, to calculate here, but... Um, you know, what, what do you, you know, I'm kind of surprised by that. Um, is it, did you feel like it was a control thing with the shaft or was it just maybe you didn't put your five I best swings on that? I felt like I had less control with the shorter shaft. Really? The long okay. Run, yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's get five more with, uh, with each and then we'll, uh, we'll see what the final data tells us. was pretty good. Nice. That was definitely better five rounds with that. I think so. Dispersion pattern should be tighter there. I think so too. I think they were, I think you had four just left or yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got, right now this is the outlier here. Jesus. Some spin. I know, it's just like crazy. That was better. I think that's the highest ball speed I've seen today. Yeah, that was just... <laughs> I've been struggling with my driver lately, so this doesn't surprise me. That one's better even. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. 241. Just, it's my takeaway here. I'm just being. Yeah, the shaft's just a little too high kick point here. It is a mid trajectory, so, oh. It's straight, but. Okay, so Jackie, this is interesting um, for a couple of reasons. So you've hit 10 with each. We took one out of the circle with each for outlier purposes. So we have nine shots of each shaft length up there. Spurs the circle smaller with the longer shaft, which is interesting. Um, we also, the, the distance difference that we expected kind of happened, I think. So, yeah. um, what is your, you know, what are your takeaways when you see this data up here? Well, it's definitely with that 43 inch guessing my, uh, distance pretty well there. Yeah. said 215, 220. So that's about accurate. Um, for whatever reason, wasn't swinging the longer shaft as good, but still getting, you know, 10 yards more. Um, out of that, maybe a little bit too spinny of a shaft for me, but mm -hmm. overall, like, uh, it seems pretty accurate in terms of what I would see on the course. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the shorter shaft was weird. Yeah, it's just uh, weird? Yeah, I would just say it's, it was weird just to have that short of a shaft and okay. a big head. You know, three so, wood. yeah, because there's, I think it's, it's not unpopular for golfers to opt for a shorter shaft yeah. um, for a driver. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, but the problem, you know, we, we're going kind of the extreme here, going down two and three quarter inches yeah. and a fairy wood shaft. Um, I don't think, I think people have probably done that, but I don't think it's a popular thing. But I was curious to see if that would shrink your dispersion circle quite a bit, um, just because it's that short of a shaft should, in theory, have more control. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm 
I'm surprised to be that was not the case. Yeah, you, know, you had kind of, and maybe it was a mental thing too, where you just had a tougher time, you know, controlling the shaft, as you said. But clearly, the longer and kind of standard length shaft. I mean, look how look at what five of these are right on the center line, essentially. Yep. Um, and your tendency then was to kind of go a little bit left with the others, but I mean, and clearly for you, you know, the longer shaft is is the better play. Yeah. Um, Kind of my, my thought was maybe, oh, you maybe hit it a little shorter, but then you'd have more accuracy and more kind of straighter drives, but that's not the case here. Yeah. No, I, I think, you know, in most fittings, there's sometimes conversation of like cutting it more to like that 45 or maybe 44 and a half mm -hmm. length. Um, and some people do opt out to do that just because of control or height. So, you know, you're a little bit shorter and need that shaft to be a little yeah. bit shorter to compensate with that. That's when you would do that. But I always, I mean, one of the biggest things is when you do cut them, it changes the swing weight a lot. Yeah. So, you know, and a lot of people don't realize that, that yeah. if I do cut it, you're going to have differences in swing weight. You're going to have to put lead tape on it or something. Yeah. To try and to that's the, the deal here. I mean, this yeah. is the swing weights are very different from yeah. the fairy wood shaft, the 43 inches to a standard length driver shaft, 45 and three quarters. So, that's already probably going to throw a wrench in things, uh, but you know that's one thing to note is that if you do opt to cut your uh, driver shaft, you know it's not as simple as yeah. all right here's a you know an inch off the shaft and then it's going to play. Yeah, I think if we would have added some lead tape to the shorter shaft, we might have seen maybe a little bit tighter dispersion too, mm -hmm. just with the swing weight being adjusted. But sure. um, yeah, kind of surprised by the results too. Yeah, I mean, I didn't expect that, but I mean, that's why we do the test yeah. is because we want to, you know, if we have an hypothesis or a theory, you want to prove it. And we didn't get that, uh, that conclusion here. So but interesting. I mean, if you are a golfer that is thinking about, you know, maybe I need to play a longer or a shorter driver shaft, um, you know, stop into second swing and our team of experts can help you out. Uh, maybe dial you in, hit some shots with different lengths and uh, see how it goes. But that's one thing to keep in mind is, that, you know, it's more than just the length of the shaft that will be changed when you do that. So um, we saw that today and how that did, it affected the performance here. So Jackie, thanks for hitting all these driver shots here. Um, interesting information here for sure.